Tonight, Stacey Abrams future, her political plans, they are unknown, but we do know she's not going to run against Republican David Perdue for his Senate seat next year. She announced that decision today. In addition, a spokeswoman for Abrams rescinded a TV interview offer and shut out our Mike Dunstan from a one on one with Abrams. CBS 46 all about transparency. So I want to show you how everything unfolded today. Yeah, I'm still scratching my head over this one, and it's unclear if Stacey Abrams even knows about the cancellation. Here's what happened. Monday afternoon, her spokesperson called me to schedule a one on one interview with Leader Abrams for Tuesday morning. The spokesperson wasn't happy with two words in my tweet, so she canceled the interview. Today, I showed up to get answers. I rang the electronic doorbell at the interview location. No one answered, but Stacey Abrams media representative Caitlin Hyland called my cell phone. I called her back, and here's most of the conversation. Can we interview Stacey? Hyland said, quote, can we chat off the record? I asked again. Can we interview Stacey? In a Monday afternoon conference call with my news boss, Hyland told us she had a problem with two words in this tweet I sent out earlier in the day, reading, Right now, I'm learning time is up for Stacey Abrams in making an announcement about a U.S. Senate run against Georgia Republican Senator David Perdue for 2020. The announcement will come Tuesday morning, and CBS 46 will speak with her afterwards in a one-on-one -on -one interview. You had a problem with me saying, um, I'm learning. I don't understand. What was, what was not correct about that tweet? Hyland said, quote, the I'm learning applies that you had a conversation about this, that this was some publicly available timeline or something. No, it doesn't. People use that in news all the time. We had a conversation. You and my news director, Steve Doerr, and I talked about this yesterday. Highland remarked, quote, yes, and we came to a conclusion, I thought. No, there, there wasn't a conclusion. Remember what, do you remember what Steve said to you? After a pause, Highland answered, quote, yes, I do remember what he said. I'm going to go, Mike. I don't want to take up more of your time, but we had this discussion yesterday, and I'm sorry, and in this one case, we have to do this. Are you going to deny CBS 46 viewers a chance to hear from Leader Abrams? Caitlin? So it appears Caitlin Hyland just hung up the phone. In my 20 years as a journalist, this interview cancellation is a first. You know, our job is to hold folks accountable with questions, also interviews. Sometimes interactions with spokespeople can be contentious, but there's also a symbiotic relationship where we actually work together to bring you the news. Here at CBS 46, we hope that doesn't change with the Stacey Abrams team. Mike Dunstan, CBS 46 News at 9.